Good afternoon. I'm Father Nate Huddleston, a priest associate for youth ministry and young professionals at the Cathedral of St. Philip, here with the midday meditation. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I'm to stand up, help me to stand up bravely. If I'm to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I'm to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I'm to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus Christ through him. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 17. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship is unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands. And though he needed anything, since he himself gave to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor, he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he had lauded the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God, and perhaps grope him for and find him, through indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, and even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. So one of the things that's been hard this summer is missing the nave, missing our incredible sanctuary. Uh, the sanctuary is still open for those who want to pray, but it's not open necessarily for that corporate worship that we so long for. But in reflecting on this passage from Paul and through my walks this summer around my own neighborhood, even the beaches that we visited, I've realized that the idea of sanctuary is more than just something at 2744 Peachtree Road. It's something that lives inside of us. It's something that we experience in all of God's creation. One of the things that I've tried to start doing is creating a space within my own home to help it be a sanctuary, to help it be set apart in some way. And in doing so, hopefully, a little piece of me can become a sanctuary as well a place where God can dwell and move and have his being. My hope for you this coming week is that you would think about your own sanctuary. Think about those opportunities where you can dwell with God and know that he dwells within you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them in any way, shape, and form. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen.